Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for coming, thank you for showing up. Uh, if you've never been here before, please go to and consider subscribing to the channel. Trust me, it's all free game, free knowledge, real information. Uh, I might not have the flashiest videos, but I promise to give you the best information um, that I possibly can. And I try to keep it real, I don't try to sugarcoat anything. So if you like that kind of content, yeah, I know what to do. Um, so anyway, to all my subscribers that are already here that are, have been subscribing to my channel, I want to say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to always, you know, watch me and, you know, you come here because you know that I keep it real, you know what I'm saying? I keep it 100, so I try my best to give you, um, vital information. That's why I keep coming back, so thank you for that. Uh, so today I want to talk to you guys about this. You know what that is? It's a nuclear medicine machine. Um, and nuclear medicines are exams that are done nationwide, worldwide, I'm sure. At every hospital, there's always at least one nuclear medicine tech. Now, it is one of those professions or, or departments that I'm guessing it depends where you work, but at all the hospitals I've worked at, usually there's only one nuclear medicine tech, one which means that that person does all the day shift and they're on call and they do the weekend one, um, weekend exams because of the fact that they're either there's not a lot of them or they don't order too many nuclear medicine, nuclear medicine exams to have more than one tech. So that's what I experienced. I could be wrong at other hospitals that can probably have two techs, two nuclear medicine techs. You know, like I said, it depends where you work, but most hospitals I've ever worked at, not most, all of them, there's only been one nuclear medicine tech, okay? So, what nuclear medicine tech do, what they do, their job description is, they perform tests for diagnostic and medical research, they inject small doses, sometimes they drink it, but I think it's mostly injecting, um, small doses of radioactive material, which then, you know, the technologist takes images and, you know, records it, for whatever body part, you know, they, they're doing at the moment um, to see what's going on, you know, looking for abnormalities. Um, a lot of cancer patients do nuclear medicine tests, but not just nuclear medicine. Um, not all patients are, you know, cancer related. Sometimes they have um, gallstones. Uh, nuclear medicine tests, usually uh, they uh, they empty it. They empty the, the gallbladder and uh, that, you know, eliminates surgery sometimes. So you can do that for nuclear medicine. You can also do um, these scans. Those are renal, that's a renal scan. Uh, renal scans, like everything, you know, um, difficult to urinating, abnormalities, kidney stones, you know, things of that nature that they look for, um, cancer, of course. Um, then they have these, these. That's a thyroid, you know, there's a lot of thyroid issues going on, you know, um, for whatever reason, whether you're born with it, you know, or you get it as you get older, either you gain a lot of weight or you're losing too much weight, whatever, whichever one your thyroid controls a lot. So they have to have those scans. Um, also they do this and that is a bone scan. And that well, that's what they usually really use to determine cancer if it's spread. Especially if it's, in, especially if it's in your bones, you know, they do a whole body scan basically. And um, and that is for cancer purposes only. And, uh, you know, so those, that, that's what a nuclear medicine tech does, you know, in a nutshell, I guess you can say. Also, if you're considering to be a, you know, nuclear medicine tech, it's gonna take you between 22 to 24 months, two years. Uh, so, um, yeah, it depends what school you go to, but usually it's two years. Uh, but like I've always told you guys, you know, and this is my opinion, that always start with the radiology technologist first because it's your foundation. And then you could build all these other things on top of it as far as like CT, MRI, nuclear medicine, you know, and things of that nature. But look, that's just my opinion. If you want to go straight for nuclear medicine, then go for it. But if you remember what I told you in the beginning, there's only one nuclear medicine tech per hospital that I've worked at, and I've worked at a few, and there's only one nuclear medicine tech. So that tells you that the job openings aren't that great. 
just throwing it out there you know because if you go for say if you want to go for mri tech first or if you want to go for x-ray tech which is smart that they need to do x-ray tech first if you go to the hospital it's always like 20 techs honestly because you need three in the or three doing floral three doing portables probably two in the er you know so you need more than one tech per hospital to work at right you need more than one tech um and for ct you usually have you know five ct techs you know sometimes three per shift um MRI, you probably have, MRI is probably like one or two per shift, depends how big your hospital is. Uh, but nuclear medicine, I have only seen one. Okay, so that's something to think about, right? Um, if you do decide to go for um, for nuclear medicine tech, the ART test is usually 160 questions, um, just like any other, you know, imaging modality exam, you have to have at least a 75 to pass. So, you know, it's doable if you try, you know, I mean, Nothing's ever easy, so when you take the registries, they're always hard. It's just, it, it is what it is, right? You can't help that. You know, they're going to make it a little tough because they want to know that you know what you're doing, you know, so it's not going to be easy. So, um, if you do become a te if you do become a nuclear medicine tech, the average, average scan per patient is going to be between two and four hours. Um, that's not mean they're going to be getting scanned, you know, for two hours straight or four hours straight. Sometimes you got to inject the, um, the radioactive material, let them go home, uh, come back, take a scan again, cause it has to go through the body and all that. So it's not that, oh, you're going to be there scanning the patient continuously for four hours. It doesn't work that way. Usually you have to inject the medicine, let it work, let it do its thing. And then, you know, the patient can get scanned, things like that. Um, now I know a lot of people, you want to know the salary, the salary, how much we get paid, you know, which I understand. So from my research, this is what I found. So I live in Florida, so I'm gonna start with Florida. I usually do Florida, Texas, and California, because those are the three main, um, states that follow me and watch me. If there's more out there, no disrespect. Thank you. But Florida, this is how much you can expect. 75 to 126 K. Now. Like I said, that's because, like, if you listen to the beginning, if you watch the whole video, there's usually one tech per hospital, which means that you have to do the all the, you have to work Monday through Friday, just example. You have to work Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30, plus you have to be on call basically all week because you're the only tech. So you're getting on-call money. If you get called in, if you get called in to work on your day off or when you go home, that's time and a half. So you're making a, you're making money because you're the only tech that's doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you make the money. So this is what Texas makes. Uh, and I can be wrong about Texas because it says 68 to 94K. But I have a feeling they, they're like in 110 range too because Texas pays a lot a lot more than other states. So I don't think this is too accurate. Um, but that's what I found, okay? And Cali. Look at Cali, man. Cali's crazy money. So in Cali, you're making um, 90, where is it at? I know I wrote it down. Oh, yeah. 98 to 182K. What? That is crazy money. But then again, California pays four times more than everybody else. If they're, if my projection is right and you only have one nuclear medicine tech per, med, nuclear medicine tech per hospital, that tech does all of them so he's going to be on call or monday through friday be on call weekends and whatever so that's how you make that kind of money now like i said remember if you're going to go for nuclear medicine tech there's nothing wrong with it but just know that the job market probably isn't that great because of the fact that you know you only need one nuclear medicine tech possibly two per hospital that's it you know for x-ray techs you probably can use 20 ct techs at least five to six uh, MRI techs, maybe two to three, ultrasound techs, like 20, you know, so pick, do your research, um, and choose a proper path for you. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Yeah, I already know.